This is another British story, but I think they sell these dolls in the States, too. The LOL Surprise Dolls. Oh, yeah. Are you Stella familiar with them? Loves them. them. Okay. Well, loves Chuck, them. you may want to pull down the pants because parents... I'm not going to pull well, the pants Well, parents down. have been shocked because these dolls have genitals. What? Yes, the LOL dolls. Parents have been sharing their outrage when they their kids discover the boy dolls have genitals. That's the surprise. That's the su- LOL surprise. That's they why got you laugh yeah, look how small it is. <laughs> so the surprise element of these dolls also includes the fact you don't know which gender you're going to get until it's taken out of the box. However, parents have taken to social media to say they were surprised that the male dolls have a sculptured penis and testicles in the genital area, and the girls have a hole. What? Some say it's not appropriate for younger kids because the toy states ages three plus. Is this real? Well, there's pictures of it here. There you go. Whoa, little balls. Little wee balls. <laughs> Little wee balls on me. What the? Yeah, she I bought a boy one today, and it had a tiny little penis on it. Tiny little. Look at that little bump. Little balls. Little hangers. The people behind the toy said that the feature was added to reflect real life, but in a kid-appropriate way. Did they, they, crazy. they really thought to do this? They said their dolls have been and will continue to be anatomically correct. They say, we believe in the importance of clarity and authenticity with our products and our customers, and this approach has been carried through all of our products over the past 40 years. In our doll category, anatomically correct dolls have been available for a few years. God, I feel like it's just some perv back in the... Yeah, you think... Yeah. Back in the design place. Yeah, sculpting tiny little Why do you need to make that? Like, it doesn't even... It's not anatomically correct, it's just... That's exactly what mine looks like. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> LOL surprise. <laughs> you will be laughing, that's for sure. You will be laughing out loud. <laughs> when Chuck's you see this. LOL yeah, surprise. that's my little LOL surprise. Surprise, it's not much. <laughs> it looks like a small child's doll. <laughs> that's my LOL surprise. Oh, man, huh? Sometimes it hurts. <laughs> A little too close to home when I look at that photo. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> yeah. Thank God I don't have a skirt on. <laughs> what is like what is it? That's it, Andy. Uh Charlie. Yeah, look I nice. scope the bows on toes. <laughs> I scope little bows on toes. <laughs> then someone carved them out like at first. Yeah. Someone was I'll the make initial... the molds for the little ball dolls. There's a mold maker that carved out tiny little balls. Yeah. Tiny <laughs> little tiny berries and twigs. Yeah. That is nuts. Muffins. Literally. <laughs> but yeah, other parents are saying, what's the big deal? It's body parts. There's nothing offensive about this. Teach your kids proper terms. And yes, there is a difference between boys and girls. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. it's just odd to me. Yeah, like, it's, it's, odd. Odd. Not, it's not. Well, you didn't give the thing toes. Nope, yeah. you're right. There's no toes. Jeez, like that's gonna be you give it co- toes and, and you... Good if point. you got to give it balls, you got to give it toes. That's just... Right. <laughs> I probably got set because Ken never needed a wiener. <laughs> he was pleasing Barbie all the time. You're gonna yeah. fight if you're going to give it balls, you got to give it toes. Yeah, yeah, you give it a great toes. point. Yeah. Give it yep. a butthole, really go for broke. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, LOL but it surprise. But it is odd because that's where they drew the line. Yeah. You know, they're like... It doesn't have toes. It doesn't have a butt. No. It just has, you know, your front genitals. I'm going to be a busy man scoping all these toes and butts and hoes. I know. At the side of the story, it's another story. That Poundland's always making headlines because now they've got a game called Willy Wars. Mm. Okay, we've got to hear more about this game. Oh, my God, James. Who's the best tosser? Toss rings around. They have a mail order website because I need to buy this game. (laughs) (laughs) They have to. The they game involves to. wearing a giant inflatable penis around your waist with fellow players aiming to land a plastic hoop it's around it. For me. I know. Somebody but go to Pound Town and buy Who's it the me. best tosser? You know, tosser means Yeah, tosser. Yeah. Jerker. Mm-hmm. Oh, Poundland, you are dirty. Oh, What's the game Land, called? A pound down. Tosser means something different. It's called Willy Wars. Willy Wars, James. Willy. I just like the idea of Ken having to go to England to get this thing. <laughs> It's like, 
<laughs> and since it's a dollar store, I'm like, we're going to need like 10 of them because they're going to break real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm sure here in Pound Town, just whores. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, Pound Land? Oh, Pound Land is different. Pound Land? We send our promotions director to Pound Town. <laughs> now look for your dick wars. I have. <laughs> you can't. Oh, All I have is, uh, you can't get it on Amazon. Oh, There's just pudding man. everywhere. Everything's pudding. <laughs> tins and pudding. <laughs> it's all tins and puddings, James. <laughs> well, thanks for looking, Ken. <laughs> you know me. Always trying to be a people pleaser. You guys are real hilarious. 